bike or training like I needed to. It was more afterwards. It would keep me awake at night mm -hmm. and just uh. aching pain. Now, you mentioned something called resurfacing. Dr. Pritchett's here. And it, what is this? What are we talking about here, this option? Well, uh, the prior option, hip replacement, with most people have heard about. Yeah, everybody's heard about the hip replacement. And, you, I mean, that's, that's yeah. a big procedure. Yeah, and you go in, you saw off the ball, and you really do. It's like getting a new water pump for your car. You take out your <laughs> existing one, and you put in a new one. Only a doctor can say that. It's like getting a new water pump oh for the car. My but, but a resurfacing is the opposite of that. You, you t take your hip, and you just simply keep all your bone and put a new surface on your existing hip. Put it back in place, and it'll well, operate. Explain normal. to me. So you've got a model there. So explain yeah. what you're talking about. So you actually you're not taking any of the bone out, right? We we will. Are you just sanding it, or what do you? Yeah, doing? you'll smooth it down a little because to fit the that implant. That looks painful. It, Ow. It, it is a little bit because you do have to take your hip out of joint to do it. That actually is the only difficult part of it. Putting the new surface on, and they come in every conceivable size naturally because we're all different in size. And uh -huh. So we simply put this new smooth surface over your natural hip. Put it right on there. It's smooth. It's low friction, and it'll operate uh, really like a natural hip. So can you still do the lumbata once it's all done? You can. It'll <laughs> just. Uh, it has so low friction. I can just spin, spin, oh, spin. Wow, it. It's like a bionic smooth. hip almost. It, it is. We put a little new surface in your socket as well at the same time. So Floyd, explain what it's felt like. I mean, having this. What's it allowed you to do now? Well, now it's back to. It feels like a, a normal hip. I forget that it ever existed. Really? So yeah. no change at all. No, well, a change that the pain is gone. Apart from that, yeah, it's it's outstanding. How has it changed your life with your family? Well, it's much better. I mean, even though the the arthritis pain doesn't prevent you from doing what you would ordinarily do, it's just always kind of there, and mm -hmm. it's tough to be in a good mood all the time when you're in pain. But you yeah. know, fortunately, um, this this procedure is very reliable, and it's a fix for a lot of people. Nancy's got a question in the eyes. Go ahead, Nancy. Yes, um, I have a, a partner in my law office who had um, knee replacement surgery at a fairly young age. He was in his 40s, early 40s, and he said that he would have to have this done again like when he's 50 because it was going to wear out. Is that going to be the same thing with your hip replacement, now, with hip resurfacing, now that it's resurfaced rather than replaced? Dr. Pritchard may be the best answer to that. Yeah, um, hip resurfacing, the implant, will, will not ever wear out, unlike the knee implant that, that you're describing. It, these are metal surfaces have been wear tested. They've been used uh, a long time as far as the testing. They, the, the wear is imperceptible. The only thing that would ever go wrong with a hip replacement is if the supporting bone doesn't stay healthy over time. And that might be a reason for a, a secondary procedure. Or it, another reason might be you have your natural hip. If you fell on it hard enough, we all hear about hip fractures in the mm. elderly. You can get them like Floyd did, even young. That might make your hip resurfacing fail too. Otherwise, uh, no, it, it has no fixed lifespan. It is hopefully, and in most cases, uh, is going to be in place. Well, Doctor, for the rest what of are life. the risks? Are there risks with these kind of surgeries? Uh, any kind of surgery has got risk, of course. Well, sure. And any, any type of surgery does, and this would have the same uh, risks of major surgery, which it is. and infections, blood mm -hmm. clots, the standard things that go with any major surgery certainly apply here. The, the only real risks that are unique to resurfacing do have to do with the, the bone. If you have a hip replacement and you remove all your bone, well, that bone, uh, you're not going to get a hip fracture after that because it's been removed, and, and you don't have to keep your bone as healthy because you've removed the majority of it. Now, Floyd's a pretty young guy. I mean, is this people of all ages getting this then? Because, you know, you, you think about your, you know, your grandmother, you know, breaking, hurting her hip somehow, but he's a young guy. He's the ideal person, a young person. Uh, we will consider doing this up to around age 60 or so. Beyond that, you are better off with the conventional option of what's, hip replacement. What's the recovery time? How long? It depends a little on what you're recovering to do. Right. And, uh, we're and not all of us are going to do the Tour de France again, but <laughs> yeah. the average person just to walk around. Well, um, if you're a firefighter or professional athlete like Floyd, you might look at a four month uh, recovery, something of that sort. If you're a sedentary person, an accountant, or a uh, uh, a television yeah. personality. Well, you might get back in that chair within a week or two. Then. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so, Floyd, what's next for you? How's it changed your life? Uh, well, lately I've been training a lot, uh, up to wow. six hours a day, and so. It doesn't hurt on that bike seat. No, it's <laughs> 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 the bike seat hurts eventually after six hours, but yeah. not because of the head. Pillows. Good <laughs> that you're doing so well. Thanks for telling Thank us you. about this great mm -hmm. procedure, and boy, glad to see you back Thank again. You guys. Good to see you.